thank you for joining us today. I'm from Kaffir Culture and we would like to introduce you to a new product that we're just about to launch. Um, it's specifically designed to assist in cleaning bottles. So let's get started. The bottle brush cloth comes in uh, a nice flat container. Um, we've also included a insertion tool which actually will assist you in getting the cloth into the bottle much easier specifically any bottles that have got a small neck um, it also comes with instructions to um, assist you in how we recommend that you use the cloth um, and if you do ever have any questions you're more welcome more most welcome to give us a call and contact us so the cloth is made from a synthetic fabric that has a very fine tooth um, it's designed to actually assist in cleaning the glass because of that tooth. It also does not fray or lose its shape. Um, and it, and it, um, it's quite long um, and designed to specifically fit into a bottle and allow you to pop the top part over the lid, which we'll demonstrate shortly, um, and to assist you in cleaning the bottle more easily and also making it simpler to actually pull it back out which is often an issue when you put a cloth into um, a bottle with a small neck as you can see we have a bottle that is typically used for bottling water kaffir or kombucha um, and it has some uh, fermentation residue in the bottle after it's been used which is quite common since the fluke often sits in the bottom of the bottle um, if you don't use it straight away or you take a little while to actually go through it you will find that you will get some um, marks that actually accumulate on the edge of the bottle now it's a good idea to clean all this out and make sure your bottles are as clean as possible so that your kaffir water can actually be stored for a longer period other than just a week or two um, I have on occasion stored um, water kaffir um, in a wine rack for up to six months and it does change the flavor um, as it ferments. So let's have a look and see how we do this. Firstly, I suggest that you do it in the sink, which is always a good idea. Grab your cloth, which um, we recommend that you basically just line up. It's quite thin. It's designed to be specifically this way to allow you to get it into a narrow neck bottle. Um, but it has this tooth has actually been designed specifically to assist you in cleaning the bottle without having to manipulate it too much. So the easiest way to do this is to simply just pop the insertion tool in the middle and fold it over, pop it in, and then just feed the cloth into the bottle, quite simply. Um, it's very easy to do. And what we do then is we ensure that we have the top part actually hanging out, and you can fold that over the edge. Now, we add some vinegar. And I recommend that you use household vinegar rather than kaffir vinegar or kombucha vinegar unless you're going to specifically only use it for what has been fermented in the bottle to ensure that you don't cross contaminate the um the brew it also means you don't have to use soaps now we don't add a humongous amount we only want a small amount of vinegar and because this bottle has actually settled and the, um, the stains on the inside of the bottle have dried, I do recommend that you add some hot to warm water. I wouldn't recommend really hot water because bottles can actually crack. But um, a warm water is definitely a good idea. So the thing to do is to simply pop the lid on and close it and it's very easy to just keep that section hanging out now there's not a huge amount of water because it actually assists in 
Um, the abrasion process, if you put too much water in, the cloth actually struggles to touch the glass. So we recommend you don't add too much. So th the easiest way to do this is to actually use a rotation of the bottle, which means it swirls and it actually gets a chance to have contact with the glass. Now you do need a tiny little bit of elbow grease, i.e. you have to agitate it. And we recommend that you go one direction and then rotate it back the other way. And you can see the, the cloth will twist and then it'll untwist. Um, the other thing to do is to actually do an up, up and down motion, which means you're actually cleaning the base of the bottle and then turn it upside down and do the same thing to clean the neck. And you can have a look and check and see how it's going. And it actually doesn't look too bad considering that it actually has been um, sitting and it's actually dried out. So we'll just give it a tiny more, tiny bit more. And then the recommendation is that you just take the lid off you can easily pull the cloth out, as you can see. Tip out the water and vinegar, and then give it a good rinse with some clean water. You can also use the cloth to clean the outside of the bottle, especially since we still have some vinegar on there. Voila, you can then allow that to dry out and then reuse it. Okay, okay, here we have another jar which um, has had some oil-based um, dried fruit in it and it also needs a good clean. And I just wanna show you another way to use it um, other than actually using it in a small neck bottle. All you need to do again is to add some vinegar You can add bicarb soda as well if you have some really um, serious stains that are, that are not coming out of your bottle. But generally just plain vinegar and um, hot water will do the job quite nicely. Again, be careful with how much water and how hot it is when you put it in because you don't want to crack the jar. Um, and instead of popping it out, because you have such a wide open, open mouth, I suggest that you just literally pop it in pop the lid on and you'll have to hold it down because you've got hot water in there so it will want to pop out and again you can use the rotational washing machine motion that you would get out of a normal washing machine and um, it literally because there's not a lot of liquid in there has great contact with the actual glass and the surface on the inside of the dart there you go it just popped so we just let a bit of, bit of pressure out and you just give it a good shake Um, again, you can pop it out and you can give it another wipe around the mouth, the jar and the outside quite simply since you've already got all your nice cleaning liquid on there and quick rinse with a bit of warm or cool water and that is pretty much spotless. And we haven't used anything chemical um, and it's done a beautiful job just cleaning the inside of that. Now I also just wanted to let you know that this cloth is fantastic for um, cleaning your water bottle that you take with you whether it's a glass one or a plastic one, one or stainless steel one um, because because it will do the same thing you've got either an open mouthed uh, big mouth jar at the top like a big opening or the smaller ones um, it doesn't really matter because we've shown you that it works in quite a small opening to get the cloth in um, and it's very important that we remember that we actually need to clean our water bottles well we drink from these even though we think that we're actually taking water out whether you have a straw or you don't think that there's anything going into the water 
it does actually grow bacteria exceptionally well um, on the edge of whatever surface um, the water is touching. So it is very important for your own benefit and your health that you do clean your water bottles on a very regular basis to ensure that it doesn't accumulate bacteria that is not healthy for you. So the, the bottle brush cloth is an ideal um, cloth to use on a regular basis and you do not need to use any chemicals. I mean, you can actually use it with simply using hot water um, instead of having to even use vinegar if it's not available and that will make a big difference in cleaning your bottle um, to a satisfactory state. So thank you very much for watching and um, we hope that you consider purchasing one of these. They do come with a money back guarantee so if you don't have the same results that I've just had then we are happy to refund your money um, but I think that you'll be exceptionally pleased with this particular product. It dries exceptionally quickly, it doesn't lose its shape um, and it's very, very small. You can actually take it with you if you are going somewhere, if you have your bottle with you and you just tuck it in and you can clean it if you go on holidays or you go away to make sure that you can clean your bottles. And um, it doesn't have frayed edges. Um, it's specifically a knit that does not fray and it doesn't lose its shape. So it will last quite a long time and we're really pleased with this product. So we hope that you will consider using that as an add-on to your fermentation um, procedures and maybe as a everyday use even if you don't do fermentation okay think about it a bottle brush cloth come and talk to us and we've got an introductory offer if you buy two you get a discount so just check out the website at kaffiaculture.com for more details thank you Hi there, my name is Ellen and I do have to rave today about this bottle brush cloth. If you drink water out of bottles or if you are someone who does uh, or makes kefir or kombucha and you reuse bottles, you may have found just like myself a bottle brush and a bottle that just doesn't fit together in most cases. So with this little cloth, it's the absolute perfect tool to clean any type of bottle. It fits in any neck, also comes with a little tool. Um, and all you need to do is shake it, swirl it around with a little bit of water. Um, every stain comes off. I had an old bottle um, of, that I used for my kombucha and even the old stains, they all came out um, absolutely amazing. Yeah, it can go in a wash, but it doesn't even stain, even from the kombucha, it doesn't stain, it washes out easily um, afterwards, it keeps its shape. So I think um, Kefir Culture, who created this one, has done a brilliant job with that. And if you wonder why do you need to clean your water bottles, um, you do, there is a build up in there and water can make you very sick if you do not clean your bottles. So this one, easy to get in, easy to get out, does a perfect cleaning job. I suggest you Google Kefir Culture and get your hands on one of those. Hi everyone, my name's Heidi and I've been given the great opportunity to have a look at the bottle brush cloth. This is absolutely amazing. If you have not got one, please try one or at least borrow someone's and have a go. This is absolutely amazing, especially with um, so many small nozzles these days. It's very, very hard to find a bottle brush that will actually fit down any size nozzle or neck of a bottle. This is a great opportunity to actually clean your bottles as clean as you would like to have them. It's absolutely amazing that this product has made it onto the market. I can't wait. It's actually made out of really stretchy, cool, funky material. I love the colour. Um, there are, I have been given word that there are going to be other colours available, but at this point in time, I've got an orange one and absolutely love it because I can see it in the wash. You literally use it either in water or vinegar in your bottle 
and then you wash it in the washing machine. It can't get any easier than that. I've tried for years after having three children finding a bottle brush that would fit down the tiny little nozzles in the little water bottles. It is absolutely amazing that it can fit in any. Not only does it come in a cute little container, but it also comes with this, especially for those really narrow, narrow uh, bottles and the necks. You can actually push it into the bottle. This is a really funky material. That's all it is. And all you have to do is feed it in through the bottle, hook this back over, put the lid back on, and literally turn it around. That's all you have to do. It is absolutely amazing. What a great idea. Um, I hope everyone will absolutely love and enjoy this new product on the market. Thank you.